morning. Welcome to making NDK coffee in your truck. When you wake up in the morning or at night, whenever you're getting ready to drive, just make your bed and pull down your bed cover, your protection against spills. I use a tablecloth and a nice thick towel as a base. Uh, put my apron on to protect my clothes. And then from behind the driver's seat, I pull out a piece of counter board I got from the scraps department at oh, either Home Depot or Lowe's. And that is your surface for your cooking implement. I'm going to take out our cooktop. I use a precision induction cooktop and we have a Xantrax pure sine wave inverter that we run this on. Next we are going to take out our pot for boiling the water and I'm going to pull out my coffee bag here and we're going to measure the water. I like to use a stainless steel French press as I have broken three glass ones. And next we have our water. I used distilled water that we add salt back to. Um, I like the real salt that comes from Redmond, Utah. We put a tablespoon per gallon. Give it a good little shake. And then I measure the water for the French press. Making coffee for two this morning, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. And we're going to get that started. While the water is boiling, just go through a couple of the things. Most people will just use coffee. Um, some people can't tolerate coffee or they, the, it's too much stimulation. It can have, uh, for some people, it can negatively affect the functionality of your gut. Um, I have that issue, which is why I use a blend of four different things that I mix in canister. Whether you're doing Oh, the things I use are Creo Brew, which is a roasted cocoa bean, um, French chicory, chicory, the fibers from the chicory help with prebiotic fiber for your gut. I use Rasa. It is a blend of adaptogenic herbs and some mushrooms that was developed for um, pregnancy. It actually helps give you a nice, smooth energy level without um, doing any damage to, for the infant. Um, so that's uh, chicory, the creole brew, rasa, and also I use roasted dandelion root, which is very good for the liver. So whether you're using a blend of teas and other things, herbs, roots, or coffee, um, for this 32 ounce I use three scoops of my blend. Put your Put your scoops or whatever in whatever amount you like to make it as strong as you like. And I just keep it in a um, coffee canister cut down at the bottom of the bed. And it obviously is going to take a while for the water to boil. Um, so we're going to take a short break. We are going to go ahead and turn the stove off, pour it over your ground coffee or whatever blend you are choosing to use, and we'll give it a nice stir to make everything, make sure everything gets, where it needs to be. And we put the lid on and then while we are letting that steep 
we are going to go ahead and put the stove away and get the ingredients ready in the pot for blending. Okay, so put our pot back here and light balance. I'm going to use two, since we're making two cups of coffee. I like to throw cinnamon in there. Uh, I like to use the Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon. Um, I read somewhere that that was the better one for helping to lower blood pressure and uh, regulate blood sugar. And then we're going to take our DK drops and put ten drops in there, five for each cup of coffee. And we're going to take an Lona Life collagen. They have the unflavored collagen peptides which I like, and Vic likes to use the vanilla ones, so we're going to just throw both of them in there, obviously we'll share. So you got your light balance, your DK drops, and your collagen. Next we're going to add some bulletproof brain octane. And there we go. And instead of the grass fed um, regular butter, sometimes I like to mix it up and use a cultured brown butter ghee. It has more of a rich taste and I just like to mix it up every now and then. Take a nice scoop there for one cup and then for the other cup. And that will be all of the ingredients that I'm going to put in there today. Um, regular stick blender. It is nice to have a little bag. This is just like a, probably an ammo bag um, from Cabela's. But it's got pockets for your light balance, your cinnamon, your DK drops. Um, you can put, you know, your French press your blender, all the stuff in it. That way, if you happen to want to go to, go to, you're in a hotel, you can just take the bag in and you got everything you need in there. Don't forget to take some of your coffee with you. And as far as the setup I have over here, we're just gonna kill time while this steeps a little bit more. I built a simple three pieces of wood. I had uh, Home Depot cut them for me, so I did it right on the road. Um, two pieces of wood that come up from the side of the bed and the one that goes across. And on there we just have a rubber made set of drawers that is bungeed in on the top. And our heaviest drawer that has our pots and pans, I also bungee when we're going down the road. Um, and then we have a basket up here where we have all of our utensils and vinegars, salt, and it's the basket that holds the cooking top in place where it needs to be as we're going down the road. Um, and then you have the fridge right here which reminds me that I'm also going to throw an egg in eat for each of us today. Put a nice pastured egg in there. And 
then it should be just about time to go ahead and put our steeped brew in the pot. Now the longer you leave it sitting, whether it's coffee, tea, whatever it is, the richer um, brew you get. I really like the French presses because it gives you, um, it gives you some, even though it filters out all of the big things that you don't want to taste in your mouth, it does let the fine um, particles through that are actually prebiotic fiber for your gut. And make sure when you press the plunger down, you go nice and slow. Um, if you just plunge it down really fast, you're going to get a spurt of hot liquid all over the place. Um, now when I am letting this, when I'm doing this on the road, say making a cup for Vic, while he is driving, I will take and put it inside the handle of the bag. The bag is full with enough stuff that no matter what happens, it and this tape I have for um, grip on the table will hold this in place. It's not, it has never tipped over and I, while I'm letting it steep, I can do other things like prepare um, the things that we're going to blend up. So then we're going to hold the lid tight and pour our brew into our mixture in the pot. Another bonus about using, with using a steel French press as opposed to the breakable glass ones is you can press it tight and really get everything out of there. I wouldn't do that with the glass ones because you can press too tight and break the glass and you're going to have a mess and um, very likely cuts and glass in your truck. I, just, I highly recommend... Um, the metal French press. I found this one at Bed Bath & Beyond. It is, I believe it was about $90, $90 at Bed Bath & Beyond, but I've had it for five years now. And the glass ones really only lasted me a month or so at best. Um, so now we're going to take our mixer. And so you don't miss anything, I won't talk while I'm blending. Probably overkill on the time, but I like to have it well blended. And then have a paper towel handy to wipe off your wipe off your mixer head and put it back in its little place. Everything in its place. And then we take our cups and we are going to divide our NDK coffee into the cups. I don't remember where I found this pot, but I really like the round shape. It, hel it helps keep everything in when blending from splashing out, and it has a nice lip which ha offers very neat and easy pouring. And then I will just take that same paper towel and give the pot a quick wipe out, all clean, and it goes back, back to the cupboard, all strapped in so we don't have any flying issues while we're driving down the road. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on the Destination Health Facebook page. Um, otherwise, enjoy your cooking in the truck and look for more episodes and more tutorials. Thank you.